Perhaps the most common use for glass is to make windows. But through this window, it's used for making art. Glassmaker Linda Westrom has always had a fascination with the ancient medium. When you think about how there is glass from the ancient pyramids, and to think of how they ever mixed up such uh, different ingredients, chemical ingredients, and discovered the process of making a medium that's totally unique in the world, which is quite fascinating, I find. With a background in science, Linda combined chemistry with her creativity. We make our own glass right from sand and soda ash and potash. When I, we were first starting, it was really important to me to make our own glass because I wanted our work to be distinctive and unique. Not only did she make her own glass, Linda incorporated colors into the process. We put, use different metallic oxides that we mix into the glass batch to give it different colors. As I read about how different chemicals gave it the glass different properties, I thought, oh, that's so interesting, and no one knows how interesting glass is. The turquoise glass that we make is colored with copper. One of the things that inspired me to make our own glass was I was reading about how the cobalt molecule has the ability to absorb the ultraviolet from the sun. And as it absorbs that energy, it reaches a point of saturation when it'll begin to give that energy back out and it'll begin to fluoresce and glow like a black light. Although many of the colors used are made right here at Rhythm's Art Glass, they do purchase some commercial colors used in the imagery on the pieces. We take those colors of, that come in rods and I crush them in an old piston and I sift it through different screens to give me different particle sizes. So that gives me different visual texture and I can take all of the colored chips and lay them all out in the patterns that you see on the pieces and then I take the molten glass and roll it in the colored chips and fuse it on the surface and then it's blown. Linda takes great pride in all of her pieces, but there's one accomplishment she's extra proud of. The emerald green took me three years to develop that color, but um, where there's a will, <laughs> there's a way. And I think that's part of the um, creative spirit is experimentation. So that's why um, it was just another aspect of, our, of why I wanted to work with the medium. Her passion for working with the medium has kept her creating with glass for over 30 years. You can see more of her work at rhythmsartglass.ca. In Saltaire, I'm Kelly Robinson.